So I'll be presenting uh, a surgical video which I have named Bolt from the Blue. Bolt from the Blue means something happening unexpectedly and that uh, the video will show what happened unexpectedly in the first few seconds. So don't move your eyes off the video for the first few seconds and then you can take a nap because uh, the management you all will be able to manage. So I'll show what happened and how I managed. So this starts. So, so I'm putting the visco in a straightforward cataract. The visco and you can see, I'll stop there. You can see it just jumped. The cannula just jumped from the, uh, from the thing. We, I was using a liver liu cannula in spite of that it came out and it just hit the iris and then what to do so i switched on the thing uh, the um, lumerai retroillumination to assess the injury and there is a injury there which is an extension and what to do next so it depends on the surgeon's expertise the grade of the nucleus the comorbidity and whatever you do if you plan to do FACO, what you do? You have to do minimal hydro dissection and nucleus rotation, mental lateral, minimum lateral separation, work away from the tear, do, try to do anterior planar FACO, maintain the anterior chamber, and look for Rohit Amparkash sign, which is wrap-up sign, and always have a plan B. So here, I decided to go ahead with the FACO. I have already shown you the extension uh, from one o'clock to seven o'clock. So Whatever you do, you need to have a good access to the nucleus. So I have nicked the anterior capsule, which was extended. And with the help of Haldiputkar forceps, I am doing a hemirexis on, the, on that side. So um, once the hemirexis in one side is done, now I have to do the rexis on that side. Here I am nicking with a 26G needle because of the location of the extension. It is difficult to use venous scissors there, so I'm nicking with the um, 26G needle and then I'm doing the hemirexis. So now I have a good access to the nucleus to do the FACO. And as I've said, if anything goes wrong, you have to give away your ego and convert to SICS or extracapsular at any point. So once this is done, you have to do minimal hydro resection and note how I am rotating the nucleus. I'm using two hooks to rotate so that no pressure is put on the zonul. And while doing the FACO, as you see, I'm working away from the extension. The extension was on at seven o'clock and one o'clock, I'm doing the FACO at about four o'clock position, I'm putting my FACO tip. And while rotating the nucleus, I'm rotating it against the FACO tip. So, so the FACO tip is working as the hinge for the rotation of the nucleus. So this is the third tip. So rotate as a hinge, I'm using the FACO tip and once the small pieces of mm, chopping is done then the job becomes easy so very slowly and very gently you can see uh, i'm using uh, moderate uh, speed for doing the feco and once the nucleus are chopped you can take it bring it in the anterior planar and emulsify the small pieces as i am showing it now so once this is done almost 90% of your job is done. Now, while doing the IA, don't take away the FACO tip. So, rest 10% can give you trouble if you don't maintain your chamber. So, what I am doing, I am putting viscoelastic before taking the FACO tip out to form the chamber and then going for irrigation and aspiration. While doing irrigation aspiration in these cases, be careful you are not pulling the Mm, uh, torn part of the anterior capsule so we have to careful move it in a sideways bring it in the center and do the IA and then you can see the hemirexis put the lens or dial the lens in such a position that it's placed in the hemirexis unfortunately during that time the three-piece IOL was uh, there was some shortage of the uh, Johnson and Johnson three-piece IOL so otherwise I would have put a three-piece IOL on the sulcus but it went on fine so all well, that sends well, and I did hydro uh, wound hydration to close the wound. Thank you. I think it was wonderful video. Ma'am, your comments, please. Sir, it's a beautiful surgery which you have shown, and we usually encounter this. Yes. So you had a tear at both the ends, and managing that tear to make it as uh, yes. things semicircle, that is 
a yes. good thing and also putting it in the bag a single yes. piece you have even though we don't have a three yeah. piece also a single piece can be put in the bag uh, which is the most uh, important thing the thing is you got the rexes and we can do also a smaller rexes and uh, yeah. keep on doing the cataract but only the thing is if you have a very dense cataract Yes. Maybe we'll have difficulty. Otherwise, soft yes. cataract we usually go about. Yes. So that is the yes. main normally we, when we get Argentine yeah. flag sign, it's yeah. normally uh, located three to nine. Uh, means perpendicular our phaco plane, but Fecoplane. this is almost parallel, parallel to the phaco plane, the which made it difficult. But uh, it went on well. Yeah. So complications do occur. Yes. So it is a surgeon skill and, how to and, handle and that. This is something as you said. I was using a lower look cannula which is locked, but still the cannula came out. I think probably the nurses didn't tighten it properly and it just came out like a jet hitting the lens capsule and just producing the... Yeah, sir, this scale. is something also to be taken care of, so yeah. we usually just... I, I, sorry, I also, do yeah. put my finger and in yeah, spite yeah. of that it, it came went out, out yes. Ah. Yeah. This is a nicely managed case, so we also do the same, sometimes it happens yeah. with everyone. Yeah. Uh, and we convert it, uh, the C-shape, what you did. Yeah. Thank you.